Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of making one of the planets tidally locked to the sun. So last episode we did what if Mars was tidally locked and we got Mars um, pretty hot in temperature so what we're going to try today is we're going to head out to the outer solar system again and we're going to try Jupiter because we did previously try Uranus and Neptune but those guys even if tidally locked they were so 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 cold. But what about Jupiter? Jupiter is still relatively close to the sun out of all of the gas giants, obviously. It's um, obviously about triple the distance of Mars, but Mars did get quite hot. So will Jupiter get any temperature? That is what we're going to be finding out today. But before we begin, guys, a massive thank you to you all as we hit 12,000 subscribers yesterday. So, yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to you all. Absolutely amazing stuff, and I really appreciate it. Abs that is absolutely awesome. So, yeah, just a huge thanks um, to everyone who comes to the videos, leaves a like, just watches it in general, and everyone who has subscribed as well. Just a massive thank you to you all for that because it is absolutely amazing, and it means the world. So, yeah, with that all out the way, though, guys, let's begin with making Jupiter tidally locked so this should be um this should be quite an interesting one so let's see if Jupiter can get any sort of temperature whatsoever because right now it's pretty cold at minus 257 it's not going to warm up too much so right let's go ahead and uh, see I actually do want to make sure its albedo settings are correct before we begin as well because it is a custom version so I'm just going to spawn in the regular version just to make sure everything is operating normally so if we look at the regular Jupiter Whereas its albedo is 0.34. So we need to make sure this one is 0.34 just to make sure that it is all working good. So where are we here? Uh, yeah, 0.34. So the most accurate results, we need that. All right, cool. So here is our Jupiter. Obviously, it's the custom modded version. Um, so yeah, we just have to check that. But yeah, now we can go into the menu and then we we'll want to click this and then we're going to do that. So there we go. Got our settings up there looking good. So how are we doing? So we can also go... Okay, there it goes. We'll just get all of them. Yeah, why not? So elevation, vapor mass, I guess. I mean, I guess we can keep it just to look cool, but um, I don't know much will happen there. So yeah, there we go. So we've got all of our um, all of our stats now. So yeah, temperature is obviously what we're going to be looking at. So right now, the coldest is minus 251. So not really uh, much going on. But if we click tidy lock, that's going to make it so the same face is always facing the sun. So let's see um, what happens... When the largest planet in the solar system is tidally locked to the sun. So without further ado, let's begin. So here we go. So we're also going to need to speed it up a little more. And with it being tidally locked, obviously it doesn't rotate anymore. So we can really uh, take a look at all the gases going around as well. Just admire that for a second. Look at all the gases going around. That's not the planet rotating. That is simply just the gases all fluctuating around the planet, which is really cool. As we are not traveling very fast around the sun, we'll put trail mode on just to sort of watch the progress. But um, yeah, let's um, let's now really buff this up. So here we go. So we can already see the temperature is going to start warming up um, as it is tidy locked now. So yeah, here we go there. So that is all going to rotate around um, pretty nicely. So let's um, let's see how hot Jupiter will get. So we'll just lock onto the sun to make things easier, so we can really keep an eye. So there's Jupiter, obviously right here. So we'll just click on it. So there it is there. The um, one out of the asteroid belt for anyone who doesn't know where it is. But yeah, there we go. So Jupiter. So let's see if this guy can get any sort of temperature whatsoever. Because obviously Mars, I guess we could compare it to Mars from last episode. But we're not going to be putting a massive focus on Mars. But yeah, if you remember Mars um, last episode, Mars did get pretty warm being tidy locked. But yeah, remember Jupiter is a little further out than Mars. So we'll keep Mars tidy locked as a comparison here. See how hot that gets eventually. But yeah, Jupiter. So it's still at minus 120, but it is decreasing. So it is still Still warming up so we just have to let it play out a little more and maybe it will go into the positives who knows i'm i'd be very surprised if it does but you never know right so um you'll just have to wait and see on that how's mars doing while we're here so mars um we'll just, yeah okay see we can see mars is already in 25 degrees that's going to warm up pretty quickly there so um yeah there is that so we'll just go ahead and close that now but yeah jupiter our main focus so let's just let's just let this let's, let's go wild let's just go as fast as we can and let's see um, how far things go. So we can see Jupiter's still got a bit of a blue area going there. So I don't know if that will fully disappear um, or not on Jupiter. So, okay, here we go. So minus 205 still, though. That's pretty crazy stuff. So here it is. So will anything happen here? It doesn't seem like it's still got a blue area. So it still looks like it's got more to give um, with its temperature being lost. Like that blue should definitely be changing. It looks like it's maxing out at about 100 and minus 117, 118 there. So that's... um. Pretty crazy stuff there. I'm going to toss in a regular Jupiter in the orbit as well. I just want to see if I get different results from it. So we're going to place that in there. And we're going to tidy lock it as well. So it's practically in the correct place. But I want to see if um, this has any sort of different results whatsoever. So I'm going to place that in. And we're just going to watch that and see if anything happens to that. Just in case the custom version has a little bug to it. 
So we're just going to have that there just in case. It'd be nice if I could look onto the sun. There we go. So, yeah, I want to see if those Jupiters do change. But we can still see the custom Jupiter is still changing. So I don't know how that's going to um, work out. But, yeah, there we go. So put orbits um, or labels back on. So, yeah, there we go. So this is the original Jupiter. So is, have we got similar results on this guy? Let's keep an eye out. So... Yeah, looking similar so far. So, yeah, I don't think there's too much um, change. Yeah, minus 118. Okay, so yeah, we are getting practically the same results here. Okay, so it's not the custom being any different. I was, I was thinking it would get a little warmer than that. I wasn't sure if it would get to zero degrees. But I was thinking we may see a little more temperature than a hunt minus 120 there. So that's um, quite surprising. But yeah, Jupiter, even, although, although it's um, not modded this one, still getting the same results. So that's fine. We don't need that then. So yeah, our Jupiter here, though, obviously going around the sun very, very fast. But yeah, no, um, no, um, no luck getting it to zero degrees. So if we compare it to Mars, uh, Mars is hottest point now. Yeah, Mars is going into like 22 degrees and above. So that's that's getting um, nice and warm, and that would eventually warm up to the results we got last episode. But Jupiter, on the other hand, it's just not getting um, any sort of um, tidy lock bonus. It's just too far away, and it's even tidy locked. It's not getting any um, any temperature above the zero degree mark. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a shame. I was hoping um, we'd see more, but yeah, I guess that is it for Jupiter. No um, no results there, and I'm guessing we'd probably get the same scenario with Saturn. So, obviously, when we did the Uranus and Neptune episode, they were both the same, and I'm guessing with Saturn being even further out, we'll, we'll get very similar results um, with that as well. So I don't think we need to do an episode um, on Saturn there. But yeah, Jupiter, very, very um, sad. It doesn't go any higher than that. But you can see here, it just fluctuates between about minus 121. And then it did go up to about minus 117 at one point there. So yeah, not really not much temperature going on at the uh, biggest planet in the solar system. It's just not not getting enough energy from the sun, even though it's tidally locked, to really get it going. I mean... It, if it did warm up, that would be awesome. But yeah, it's just too far out in its current position. So yeah, that's a real shame. But I guess um, that's just the way um, things work in the solar system at this distance. There's just not enough energy from the sun to really get a planet warmed up um, to the sort of standards of Venus and Mercury, though. I mean, how, how's Mars doing again, just as a comparison? I don't know what's going on with Mars. seems a little glitchy this time around. So we did get it a lot higher than that last time. So it's probably just Mars being um, a little annoying there. But yeah, we did get it up to like 900 degrees, which is insane. All of the inner planets have really high potential with the tidy locking, but the outer planets just don't seem to have it. They're just too far out to really get any good results. So as we can see, minus 120 degrees. Absolutely no, not really any real change. It's still relatively cold and compared to what it normally is i mean if we pull it back to its about 10 hour rotation i'm pretty sure we probably wouldn't see too much change so how are we doing here so rotational period 11 years if i put that to um hours put that to about 10 hours that's what jupiter normally is obviously doing that it's going to spread the temperature out again um and yeah that is that so yeah just go back to about minus 150 in the hottest area and then there you go so that's roughly it nothing really changes so yeah only got like a 40 degree bonus from being tidy locked so um yeah that is jupiter then guys so yeah let me know your thoughts down below on the tidy locking jupiter obviously if you've got any um feedback or any ideas any anything i may or may not have missed let me know down below in the comments and i'll see i think we've definitely got to try mercury next and see how hot that gets i don't think i've done mercury yet i mean i've, I've been doing this seriously quite a while i can't remember um if i actually did mercury i know i've done um earth venus and mars but i'm not sure if i've done a mercury so i think we'll definitely gonna have to try that out i don't have to double check if i've done it or not but i'm pretty sure i haven't so yeah i'll definitely be working on doing a mercury but yeah other than that I don't think we really need to do any of the other objects. I mean, we could try Ceres. I mean, it's obviously a lot closer than Jupiter, so I may, I may do an episode on Ceres. Um, but yeah, I think Ceres and Mercury are the only really two that interest me. So all the outer objects, you won't get any results on them. They're just too far away from the sun to receive any energy whatsoever, even being tidy locked. Um, so yeah, there we go. But yeah, that is everything for, today, for today's video, guys. So if you liked it, let's see if we can go for 30 likes down below. And also subscribe if you're new. Um, and yeah, also click that bell button to get notifications. Obviously to get um, notified as soon as I upload a new video. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys. Um, yeah, massive thank you again for watching today's video. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers now. Wow, that is crazy. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys. Make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.